Welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm hiding in a cabinet. Spirits are not especially high. And, uh. There, I bet there aren't many places in the galaxy where, uh. Amanda Ripley would rather be here than there. Probably worded that sentence wrong. Whatever. Um, the point is, I think we need a morale booster. And you know what always makes me feel better? That stupid gag where I do a jump cut and then we're in the wrong game. And I pretend that I don't notice for a few seconds. It makes me smile every single time. So, uh, let's do that. This is still the same damn cabinet! You're telling me that system is down too? Oh, I hate this place. thing at the edges pointed to the goal it's awfully schizophrenic of course the worst part of this is that if there is a uh, working Joe sitting immobile in a chair this thing won't pick him up at all I wonder if that's why they talk to themselves. Oh, I hate this. I have to say the lighting in this game does a stellar job of making things unsettling. You are about to be murdered. <laughs> I think that would be actually pretty funny. You are about to be murdered. No. Well, not funny for me, but I bet you guys enjoy it. I was starting to say last time how I sometimes internalize my fear reactions. I'm not usually the kind of guy to go, ah, when I'm scared. I mean, there are exceptions, obviously. But, um... At some point, I got it into my head, oh, people watch horror game LPs in order to hear the player freaking out. So I picked up the bad habit of uh, sometimes exaggerating uh, my fear, and I'm not really gasp out loud afraid. Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, fuck, I was all turned around there. I'm pointing towards that thing, okay. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Inertial dampening?
Oh. Fuck. Well, that worked. Synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature. It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make... Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injuries. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. There's an android through the window. We gotta get out of here now. Achievement unlocked power games. Access 10 different rewire points. Uh, yeah, that's good. big main room, isn't it? Uh... What? Whatever. Oh, fuck. That's right. Battery last. came from, but... Go. 
It remembered. I was wondering what that. It remembered that I had my, uh... I was in Crouch. <gasps> How can it not be sure? Fan fuck this thing. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, saints preserve us. I'll stick to the shadow. Oh, that's not a good sound. Okay. I know I know that I said he's still standing right there because the door is still open. That's better. Achievement unlocked. Not a scratch. Escape from Android combat without taking damage. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't even know where he is and I don't want to use the thing in case he can hear it. Is it just the alien? I don't know. I was wondering why... Ripley is an engineer, right? So, if the alien can hear the fucking motion sensor, why doesn't she just go into the wiring and turn off the stupid beeping? <sighs> or is it like it senses the electronics working or something? Ah! Oh, hey. <gasps> Where the hell did he even come from? He wasn't in the room. Oh. As soon as I hit the button for the, uh... or not. No, he can see me. Uh, excuse me. Nope, nope. I don't wish to speak to you. Crap. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, fuck. And we're running! My veins feel so alive! The rest of me doesn't. Mm. Pardon me. Sorry, save point, no time. Okay, fuck those guys.
Now my veins feel so alive. I mean, without a damn save point. I think the point of interest is the elevator. There's no save point until I actually get there. Oh fuck, and if one of them has seen me, then they've all seen me. Tommy? The way he put it was, uh... The way it is right now, it's an... Mysterious, unknown alien organism... That lives in the vents and hunts you for, uh, pleasure. Tommy, on the other hand, is that asshole neighbor who keeps showing up to your barbecue when invited. And it has a name. It's, uh... this way. And we're moving, and we're grooving. I have to go back into the area where I saw Tommy last. So that sucks. Is facing me. So here's the real question, you guys. If I go back there now, will that guy just be waiting to murder me? Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, or... I'd be able to save the game. I 
felt something. I felt one pulse and then nothing. Didn't see anything on the screen. For fuck's sake, timer. Sorry, I'm just a bit on edge. But I think I can do this. I want to press ahead for everyone who played this game without getting to see how it ends. Sounds like someone intercepted a communication from someone who is about to be murdered by the alien. I mean, Tommy. Okay, so I saved the game. That's an improvement. I wonder if that's the sound of the robots walking around. The way they slap humans around so easily, they're probably pretty heavy. I did have a thought. Uh, Samuel said that killing humans goes against primary synthetic programming. And I can't help but think of Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics. You know, the big one is, number one, a robot cannot harm a human or by inaction allow a human to come to harm. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, in the setting of his short stories on the subject, the, uh, the three laws of robotics are hard-coded into the, uh, like the chassis of all the robots they ship in the world. So that no matter what programming you put into a robot, it has the three laws built into its body. You know, there are massive laws against building robots that are in ca that, that do not have the three laws binding them. I have a feeling that once AI gets to a stage like where you know where something like ash is is possible that uh there'll be similar laws. So I'm kind of curious how Seekson managed to uh so thoroughly overwrite everything. I have a feeling it's Apollo doing everything though. Once a uh, an AI system goes nuts, it starts taking control of systems like that. All bets are kind of off. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alien Isolation. I continue trying to make my way back to where I was, even if Tommy is waiting for me along the way, and meet up with uh, Samuel and Taylor. Later.